Well, it's January 21st and we're just gonna head out to, to the beach here and go for a Dungeness dive and meet up with Jake, try to get some bigger, some bigger Dungeness today. We're gonna go deeper. But man, it's been such a series of unfortunate events the last few weeks. We've been trying to get in the water um, ever since January 1st. We've been trying to do a, a follow-up dive for, for King Crab. And hopefully within the next few weeks, we'll get back out for those guys. But I came down with COVID just after that initial dive on the 1st. And so I was out for about a week and feeling great now. But I still had some head congestion for about a week after that. And then the following weekend, there was that crazy eruption off the coast of Tonga. And we had a tsunami warning the whole weekend. So that was quite, it was all Saturday and then it just didn't work out. So a series of unfortunate events, but we're finally getting back in the water today. Yeah, it looks so good. What do you think? Probably big enough for Red Rock. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's definitely big enough for Red Rock. It's just that you only get two claws. Yeah. Yeah. Six for We'll let him go. Just a female. That's really cool. You have to literally dig them up. Jake is going back to get his knife so he can probe and drag it along the sand because they are literally like three inches in the sand. You can't even see their backs. It's crazy, but it makes it more exciting. Pretty cool. I'm digging up for like, like literally 30 seconds. 
I can't get them off. Look yeah, tools of the tree. Taking out these Dungeness crabs on a breath hold is a chore, but it's a chore that pays dividends around the dinner table. A true delicacy. Freediving for Dungeness crabs is arguably one of the most sustainable ways one can harvest their own food in the Pacific Northwest. With strict management laws, no females are allowed to be taken. One female can hold up to 2.5 million eggs, so this is extremely important. Also, no males can be taken if they're under 165 millimeters, which is around 6.5 inches. By strictly following these rules, you are contributing to one of the most sustainable practices on the Pacific Northwest Coast. Just got out of the water, got two males that are legal, so we're gonna have some good food tonight. We're being like kings.